Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Nigerian female scholar Professor Rose Margaret Iking Itua has become the first black woman to earn a doctorate degree, PhD, in cybernetics in the world. Cybernetics is a scientific study of how information is communicated in machines and pieces of electronic equipment in comparison with how information is communicated in the brain and nervous system. Eking Itua is a pioneer educator, administrator, and engineer, championing leading roles in science and technology, engineering and mathematics STEM, challenges in Africa, and paving the way for the African youth, especially girls. Okay, I had been attending the events for about five years and um, slowly got roped into it, but I thought it was important for me to get on the board um, so that I could push for more diversity, especially for women in engineering coming onto the board and having more women in engineering receiving awards and getting inducted in the Hall of Fame and also for people of color um, to support and encourage people of color to pursue engineering. So that's really Really my main motivation for coming on the board. Absolutely, I think you're absolutely right. Um, I have some of my students here from Ohlone College volunteering and some of them are females and they were just walking through looking at the inductees and they're like, one day I want to be up there. I want my photo to be up there. I'm like, yeah, you can do it. So it's really aspirational um, for the younger generation uh, because I'm sure as you know, we don't have a lot of women in engineering and we we need to really increase the number of women in engineering. So um, this event is one of those events that really creates a platform to inspire young, the younger generation. I think it's just historically stereotyped um, to be a male industry that women are not good at math or the sciences, um, but that's not true. I mean, all research has proven that women are equally as efficient and proficient with math and the sciences. And I think it's also just the the stereotypical fallacy of what engineering is. They think, oh, you've got to get your hands dirty. It's about continuous tinkering. But engineering is actually about creativity, impacting the world, and um, designing. So if you have creative ideas, you're innovative, um, engineering is for you. Yeah, yeah. I think it's really great we do that because you have the whole spectrum. I've got one of my students here, and he'll be receiving an award. Actually, that's him. <laughs> Yeah, he'll be receiving an award and he's also really inspired looking at the other awardees that are going to be awarded into the Hall of Fame. And he's also feeling like, wow, maybe one day I could aspire to be one of the inductees in the Hall of Fame. So I think it's a really important thing that we do, um, just drawing in the younger generation through scholarships and really getting them to aspire higher. She earned the premiering degree from the University of Reading in the United Kingdom under the supervision of her first PhD supervisor, Professor Kevin Warwick, and the first human cyborg in the world. Rose Margaret Iken Itua is a multi-award winning professor of engineering with over 20 years of experience in engineering and STEM education, cutting across the USA, Europe and Africa, leading the creation of innovative programs in STEM whose fascination with technology took root in our childhood in Nigeria. Surrounded by a culture that often discouraged girls from pursuing scientific fields, she found a passion in understanding how things worked and the potential for innovation. A thirst for knowledge led her to pursue a bachelor's degree in electrical and electronic engineering, followed by a master's degree in mobile and satellite communications engineering in the United Kingdom. Driven by ambition and a relentless desire to break boundaries, she went on to make history by earning a doctorate in cybernetics. Despite facing extra layered challenges as a woman of color and in a male-dominated field, gender biases and a lack of readily available role models, she refused to let these obstacles define her. Speaking about challenges encountered in achieving success in a recent interview, Ikeng Itua said, Every challenge became fuel for my determination. I realized that my success would not only open doors for myself, but would serve as an example for other women and girls who might otherwise doubt their capabilities. I am a dreamer, doer, thinker, so I always had dreams, but my dreams were not necessarily focused on being great, but more on how I could be a positive change agent and how to create initiatives, programs, and technologies that will impact the world positively. 
I am human centric in my approach to making positive change. Hence, the field of cybernetics gave me that opportunity as cybernetics is centered on purposeful design of technologies for society and humans. This has always been my passion and pursuing my education and the dream to disrupt some societal misnomers propelled me to being the first black woman to earn a doctorate degree in cybernetics. Being the first in anything is always retrospective. For me, the initial focus is always creating positively transformative impact. The female scholar for that said, a passion for mathematics and physics at an early age informed her choice of career. I wanted to pursue a career that would give me the opportunity for creativity, innovation, collaboration, and positive impact in communities, she added. It was also born from my wish at the age of nine to create platforms that connected the world to foster global unity for progress and appreciative understanding of global cultures. At that young age, I noticed a huge disconnect in what the global NOS taught they knew about Africa, which I call the global South. Since gaining a bachelor's degree in Nigeria and master's in the UK, Etwa has gone on to amass a plethora of achievements, milestones, and innovations in the world of engineering. She has also been inducted into the Hall of Fame at Silicon Valley. Rose Margaret Ikenitua is currently an engineering professor at Holland College in Fremont, California, where she has served for six years. I keep saying this, but that country, this country, Nigeria, is indeed a blessed country. And the level, the amount of talent, of, of, of greatness that just keeps coming out of that country, of the continent as a whole, is truly, truly inspiring. It is such a breakthrough for women, for girls, for women of color, for people of color especially, but especially for women and girls, because as she rightly said, this is a field that tends to be seen as a male-dominated field. Um, for some reason, it is seen as something for men, but as she rightly said, this is more about innovation, about making something that is lasting, that affects humanity rather than, you know, uh, getting your hands dirty and just the idea that we have of what engineering is. But engineering is so much, much, much more than that. And now, contrary to when she started and she didn't have any black role models to look up to, now girls can look up to her as a role model because she has done this now and she has broken through this barrier and now she has opened the door door for more girls, more women, more people of color to come in and do great things and maybe even do better, even greater things. It is truly inspiring. Let me know what you guys think of this video, guys. Don't forget to like the video. Don't Let me know what you guys think of this video, guys. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys of women in engineering and we need to really increase the number of women in engineering so 